Lance and I am here to give you a tutorial on tempo beat matching for After Effects for whatever track or song that you recorded um, sometimes when you're transferring that track into After Effects and you want to do some video to it temp, uh, matching up the tempos are a little bit tricky finding your transitional points are a little tricky so this is a little expression that I wrote that should help you um, find your transition points I don't know uh, if you have a different method or whatnot, but this is a really great way of finding the beats in a track and being able to visibly uh, see what it is you're looking at. So what we have is um, a couple of tracks that I put in here, different tempos. Let's start off with uh, this one right here. And we got one at 75 beats per minute. What I did was first create a null layer, uh, labeled it tempo, added a slider control to it, set that at the tempo of the track which I have it labeled right here as you can see 75 beats per minute it's important you know your tempo before you begin if you don't know the tempo of your track figure out what your tempo is uh, tempo match the track uh, however you need to do it um, to get the tempo first next we have the tempo in we set it up here at the slider control this is a fixed one and like I said it's a null layer label tempo all right, these other uh, layers we don't need to worry about right at the moment. What I want to do is just show you this one real quick. This is another null layer, labeled it slider. And in here I also applied a slider control. As you can see, the slider control is red. What that means is that I assign that controller an expression. To do that, you just hit the Alt key and then press the little stopwatch here. Now the formula that we have in here is basically this tempo equals and what I did was I typed tempo equals and then I pick wicked the tempo slider con right here so take your pick wick drag that over to the word slider then release hit enter then type Z equals parenthesis tempo slash 4 which means 1 fourth of the tempo divided by 60 what this is is a formula that creates a um, basically interpolation points for After Effects and it's to actually calculate the real tempo of a track because there are 60 beats, uh, sorry, 60 seconds in a minute. Tempos are calculated beats per minute, and there are four beats per measure. So tempo, which is this number uh, at the top here, in this case 75, divided by four, so one fourth of 75, uh, divided by also divided by 60 for each second. Next is x equals let me go move up here. X equals time times z times 100. Basically, what that does is it takes the time value of the time that you're in, uh, multiply that times the z formula, which we just figured out, and multiplies that times 100, and that, that basically moves the decimal point um, over. A couple of places. Next, we put a variable fx equals formula math dot floor uh, parenthesis x close parenthesis, and then another formula uh, fx two equals fx divided by one hundred plus one. In case you're wondering, this plus one is a counter. fx two is a counter, and the plus one is to compensate for the fact that if you're using Pro Tools or sonar or some other recording program the beats always start on one whereas in other words it, it, starting on one in after effects starts on zero so the first four counts would be less than one whereas in sonar or pro tools the very starting point is one so we added a one into after effects to compensate for the difference between zero as a starting point or one as a starting point in your sound recording programs and I'll show you why we do that later beat DEC is another variable equals formula math dot round couple parentheses FX2 minus formula math dot floor parenthesis FX2 close parenthesis close parenthesis times 100 what this basically does is it rounds off the decimal point value so that we have just what's on the right side of a decimal. Let me show you basically what I mean. Say this is your beat counter. 
and we've rounded it to two decimal points. As we scroll forward through time, you can see that it has a uh, beat number. So in other words, we're in beat three, and then at this point, 45% of the beat. But that doesn't tell us really much of anything. So what we do is, um, if you want to look at the time code and the slider value, this is basically takes the right side with this beat DEC, takes the right side of this number up here and turns it into an absolute value number. So it basically loses the everything on this side of the decimal and then makes this number a whole number rather than a fraction of a number, which is important because I'm going to show you for visual effects why I did that. You see this slider here? I have this pickwicked. I'm sorry, rather pickwick. I have the expression here that controls this value. So as the time slider is moving forward, it's only taking the value of what's on the right side of this decimal point. And I'll show you why that's important. As a visual, I created a red solid layer, and I pickwicked its opacity to this slider controller here. So basically, you can hear a, a song, and you can you can hear the beats. And now you can actually see that the beats are falling on the places that they're supposed to. And in this case, like I said, we have the 75 beats per minute song. This is a song fault statements by D Ice. And I'll just play a few seconds of it so you can see and hear at the same time what it's supposed to be doing. Yeah, and all these false statements, you can tell them to shove it. I made my spot in this game, and ain't nobody above it. When I get this deal, I had the radio flooded. I swear to God, bruh, I really fucking does it, does it. Okay, so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. And what you can do with this information is basically, you know, slide to your certain points, to find your whole decimals. If you need to expand out, expand out. Um, your timeline a little bit so you can find your whole points um, again sometimes you got to span out a little bit more so you can find your all right so like that that would be beat nine you could actually take your markers and drag them and so you could help find where your keyframes and transitions need to be now how is this useful this little formula for doing other songs now let's say we want to switch that this song and replace it with a song that has a different tempo of 69 beats per minute but we still want that red solid layer to follow the tempo of the new track we just go up to the tempo controller here change our slider value to the new tempo in this case it's 69 all the values will change that are up here everything will change right in place except for the uh, the time code of course so in this case we'll start here and I'll play a few seconds of this. This one's called Hottest in My City, also by D-Ice. And just a few seconds of this, and you'll understand. That's Come on, boy, you won! It's still nasty! Cause I'm the hottest in my city, without a question! I've been doing this for years, you fucking freshman! Get the devil out of me and take a million blessings! Become a volume one! It's still nasty! Watch these rappers get cut! Okay. I hope this tutorial was useful to you, and I hope it helps with your videos and getting your transition points figured out. Alright, good luck. Thanks Let's for watching. do that. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's D Ice, motherfucker. You know what it is. Uh, hey, yeah. Come on, hey. Don't want it from me. Wanna know why? Don't diss me, dog.